All right, so we've done the Python forward propagation, and we worked our way through the maths and chain rule for the back propagation. And now what's left is to try that in Python. <coughs> so let's do it now. So, um, yeah, so let's start with the grad output. So the grad output, uh, I'm feeding in to the end of the net. I'm just going to feed in all ones because uh, that's easy. In practice, that would be uh, the output, the um, grad output from the lost layer. Uh, but here I'm just going to feed in all ones. And uh, then we're just going to pass it backward and get the grad output for each time step. Uh, so the grad output for each time step will just be W times the grad output for the next time step. So that's easy. So let's start with that. Uh, so here's the Python code from before. And so let's do the grad output. So we're just going to create a, a list. And as before, we're just going to pre-fill it with uh, nuns at each time step. And then we're going to work our way backwards. Uh, so we're going to work our way backwards. So before we were going like 0 up to set claim minus 1. And uh, here we're going from set claim minus 1 uh, down to 0. Uh, we have to put the number 1 after that, which is minus 1. Uh, minus 1. Uh, so we can just print out the t just to convince ourselves this is going from set clem minus 1 down to 0. <coughs> Alright, so t210 and, and set clem is 3, so that's correct, 210. Okay, and then we're going to say, alright, if t is set clem minus 1, then we're going to use the all ones. So we're going to say grad output t uh, equal, and let's just make everything a, uh, a variable. Uh, so torch dot uh, ones, because we're passing in all ones, and uh, I don't think we need a gradient on that. Uh, otherwise, grad output t is basically equal to the grad outputs from the from the next time step. So we're working our way backwards. So we have the grad outputs from the next time step, and simply times w. Cool. Uh, so we can print those out as before. Uh, so here we've got the grad outputs, and uh, as before, we're going to do like dot data zero. And that should print out our grad output. So the last one should be 1, and then the other should decrease with time. So here we've got the last one is 1, and this one should equal W probably. Yeah, W is 0 0.696, 0 0.696, and it gradually gets smaller. If we had, like, 50 time steps, the um, first few are going to be really small. Actually, even for 20 time steps, the first few are going to be really small. Uh, oh, not so small, but fairly small. If we do 50, it should get pretty small. So we do 50, the first few are like 10 to the minus 8, and then it doesn't start getting into like 0 0.001, let's say, until yeah, somewhere around somewhere around here, right? So kind of back about 20 time steps is kind of okay in this case. But we are getting, we are seeing this kind of vanishing gradient thing. Uh, all right, so that's the grad outputs. Whoops, that's the grad outputs. Uh, so then we want to do the grad weights. Uh, okay, so grad weights. So none for t in range sec then. Okay, and then again we're going to step backwards. Right, so. Right, now the grad weights is per, well anyway, let's figure out the formula. So, grad weights t equal, and then let's go and find our formula. So, the formula for the grad weights is here, right? This is the partial derivative for the output from the entire network with respect to the weights from layer, from time step t. And that is equal to partial derivative of the output of the entire network with respect to the output from this layer. So this is grad output t. So let's put grad output t. So we've got grad outputs t times 
And then the other bit is partial derivative of the output from this layer with the weights of this layer. And that is equal to this, out t minus 1 plus input t. OK, so let's just like this is this and this is this. Yes. Uh, grad outputs t. So we have grad outputs t. And we have inputs t. But what about this output t minus 1? So this is going to go down to t0. So output t. Uh, this is going to go down to output t minus 1. So we're going to have to do the um, a kind of like little if hack again. So basically we're going to say... So is that right? Apparently it is. So I guess we can just copy and paste this if hack, right? So I'm going to do prep output equal uh, this. And then if t is more than 0, then prep output is this. And we're just going to substitute prep output instead of this. And let's put some parentheses around that. And there we got the grad weights. All right, so then let's print out the grad weights. Uh, so grad weight. Grad weights. All right. So let's print that. Okay, so here's our grad weights. All right, now this is for each time step, but we need to sum over all of the time steps. Now we go back to our diagram. Uh, we're calculating the grad weight for each time step, but in practice, in, whoops, but in reality, uh, grad weights is there's just one. There's just one weight. There's just one grad weight. So we just need to sum that sum over this. Okay, so. Uh, that's easy. We can just do grad weights overall equal, and then we can just use like uh, numpy to sum over this. So we're just going to sum over this list. All right, and then we can print that out. And uh, that should just be a normal kind of NumPy scalar. So let's print that. Uh, all right, so 1.86, because we've only got one feature, right? So there we go. All right, so I hope this is right. How can we check? So what we're going to do is we're going to compare this with uh, Autocred. Uh, but let's put that separately so that yeah, let's do 